students and we have the teachers from blessed trinity catholic school in the mayfair section of philly and they just entered the classroom the show where students go head to head with their favorite all-time teachers and philly showed up to support them look who's out there hanging out yeah. they got signs they got smiles hey it's winner take all in the cash and bragging rights before we meet our contestants i'm calling it now pop quiz A little pop quiz time. That kid in the front, great start by you on that smile, man. That thing looked great on the TV. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points for your team. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other side can buzz in and steal those points. Pop quiz starts right now. The first man on the moon was from what country? Ms. Rosini. United States. United States is right. Teachers go first. In the nursery rhyme, bingo. What kind of animal was with bingo? Megan. A dog. Dog is right. What is the capital of Texas? Mr. Petrucci. Boston. Boston's right. Of the three main verb tenses, which one describes events that have already happened? Ms. Rosini. Past. Past is right. In the MLB, the Angels and Dodgers represent what city? Mr. Petrucci. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, L.A. What fast food chain's motto is, I'm loving it. Gia. McDonald's. Mickey D's. What American federal holiday honors the armed forces on November 11th? Ms. Rosini. Veterans Day. Veterans Day, good. What Gary Paulson book follows Brian, a sole survivor on a plane crash in Canadian wilderness, as he struggles to find his way back to civilization? Ms. Rosini, a while ago... Sorry, Hatchet. Hatchet is right. What Looney Tunes cat always says, suffer and suck a tash. Ms. Rosini. Sylvester. Were you going to say Stallone? Yeah, yeah all right. How many, how many cards are in a standard deck? Gia. 56. Teachers for the steal. Ms. Rosini. 52. 52. She's playing with a bunch more aces in her pocket. In the How to Train Your Dragon franchise, what island is home to the Vikings of the Hooligan tribe? That's the Isle of Burke we're looking for, and that is it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers ripping out in the gates with a quick 80 points. Students off to a good start with 20. And we have students and teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School in Philadelphia, home of the Bobcats here today. So let's meet our teams. Megan, it's good to see you. Team captain, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Gl I'm glad you're here for the show today. It's a big one. You have $500 if you beat these three over here. Where's that going to go? Our art department at school. Oh, nice. Well, anything you want to get? Uh, paints and pastels. Perfect. That's great for the art department. Uh, so you're a tourney softball, softball player? Yes. So you basically travel all around and just kick people's butt in softball? Yeah. That's huge news. But guys, speaking of huge news, this one is huge news. Tell these guys what you did. I nominated my favorite teacher for an award and won, and she was honored on TV by the Phillies. That's huge. Fox covered it, and you've been on this before, so this is your second time here. We're glad to have you, and thank you for supporting those teachers. That's so cool. Gia, eighth grader, you're in competitive dance. I do jazz, hip-hop, lyrical. I do contemporary and acro and ballet. There's not even enough days in the week for all those dances. <laughs> she just never stops dancing. You go to the refrigerator, you're like, Whee! Okay, so what's your favorite? Hip-hop. Hip-hop, definitely. Just dropping it like it's hot. Uh, yeah. And not this dance, though, because I don't know what that was. That wasn't it, though. All right, Megan, eighth grader. Guys, look at this one. A lead of the school play right here. Big news. How about that? Give her a big round of applause. So what's going on with that? What do we have this year? What position are you playing? So we're doing Singing in the Rain Junior. And um, one of the leads, um, Lena Lamont. So give us like a line from the show okay. in that voice. And I can't stand it. Oh, that's awesome. You, Roxy. I kind of knew it a little bit. Guys, you got to check out her show. It's going to be a big one this year. But check out these three as they go to beat these teachers. Good luck today, guys. And I can't 
stand them. That's what they're saying about you three right now. <laughs> Behind your back. All right, guys, we know them. Let's get to know you. Miss Barris, good to see you. $500. If you win it, where's that going to go? The music department. Yeah, great choice. What are you going to buy? Uh, instruments. Yeah, who cares? It's money towards the instruments yeah. and harmonicas. But mm -hmm. It'll make noise and sticks. That sounds nice. Yeah. All right, so this is a big time bet. I've never, on the entire classroom, I've never heard of a bet this mm -hmm. big. Tell them what's on the line here today. Okay, so my eighth grade homeroom, they made a bet with me yesterday that if the students win, they're allowed to have a talking recess. But Which is normal. Yeah. But if the uh, teachers win, they are having silent recess till New Year's. Silent <laughs> recess until New Year's. What? Yep. How do the kids even throw a ball to each other? It's like... <laughs> that was Tommy go long. They're just throwing the ball to nobody. This yep. is a ton of line. Gia, are you ready for this? Like, you're in the home. Are you, are you going to perform this. today? Oh, yeah. For all those students, they need you. Well, good luck. Thank you. Beat those students, I guess. Miss Rosini, you've been in the game 19 years as an yeah. English teacher now. Uh, you have a haunted classroom? I do. So, like, to, <laughs> first of all, I'd never go back. But tell us about the haunted classroom. Uh, well, we just have, uh, we think it's Sister Conchetta. And yeah. And she hangs out and she pushes uh, books out of desks and she opens closets and she pushed me on Monday. So. She pushed you on Monday? Yeah. You can stay here. You're not going back. <laughs> Kids, take care of yourself. Mr. Petrucci. Gee, you look like someone that could handle a ghost or two. Okay. You've been in fifth grade now? Yes. And what do you like to do outside of school? Outside of school, uh, especially in the summertime, I love to kayak. There's oh, a lot nice. Of kayaking opportunities around. So. Yeah, well, tons, right? Are you yes. considering maybe starting a kayaking club at school? Uh, that would be up to the administration if we could do that, <laughs> yeah. That was a hard no. Yeah. He's not doing that. The weekends are his. All right, guys, well, good luck today. You got three great kids over here, but someone has to send somebody to detention. <laughs> Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You guys aren't going to need them here. You're going to work together during this category. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you'll have 10 seconds aside. If you want to play or if you want to pass, if you choose to play, you get the question right. You can send any member of the other team to detention. But if you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass the other team, they have to answer the question at that point, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to the other team to detention, well, they're going to win 40 points. So, students, you guys can get right back in the game here. And the category goes to you two, you three, as we go into social studies. Play. We're going to play. The shot heard around the world is commonly linked to which war fought in America? The American Revolution. The Revolutionary War is right. Nicely done. Off to a great start, ladies. Two Megans and a Gia. So, pick your choice. Who's going to detention? Miss Rosini. Miss <laughs> Rosini. All smiles for now. Nice choice. Not only does she teach English, but she teaches social studies. That was a very strategic choice out of you three. Nicely done. Teachers, we're going back to you for this next category. How do you guys feel about science? We'll play. Says the science teacher. <laughs> what group is the first level of the food chain that makes its own food and energy? Producers? Producers is right. Nicely done, teachers. They fired back. They fired back. You got three students over here. Gia. One of them has to fill the seat. Gia's <laughs> out of the game. She jumps off the soapbox and gets into detention. And we are moving right along. It's one apiece over there. Feel free, you two, to mingle, chat, hang out. We're going to keep playing. Category, guys, goes to instruments. Do you want to pass or play that? We're going to play. Violins, cellos, and guitars are examples of what family of instruments? Strings. Strings? Strings, nicely done. And just like that, teachers, you dwindle to one. Somebody's got to take the long walk to detention to join Gia and Miss Rosini. Mr. Petrucci. Mr. Petrucci out of the game. Our fifth grade kayaking teacher. He's out of there. You haven't been to detention in years. No, no, no. It feels good, though, just like it was just yesterday, right? Well, we're glad to have you in there. All right, the category for you is Disney characters. Oh, definitely going to play. Huge Disney fan, huh? Yeah. All right, well, here we go. What is the name of the great white shark in Finding Nemo? Bruce. Bruce is right. She is a big fan. 
Megan and Megan. And don't just say you want to send Megan to detention. <laughs> Give me like a nice hair color. Be like the brunette Megan. Brunette Megan. Brunette Megan. No, they're both kind of brunette. All right, that was my fault. <laughs> Megan Leary. Megan Leary out of the game. <laughs> Megan with an extra A. Sorry, <laughs> Megan. And just like that, guys, it comes down to this. Megan, the category is yours. You can choose to pass over here or you can play it. Be careful. If you pass, she gets it right. You are out of the game and she wins these points. How do you feel about sports? Go. Play. I heard a gasp out there. Like, oh my God. <laughs> On a classic design soccer ball, what shape are the white panels? Octagon? Incorrect. The answer was hexagon. That one's coming back to bite you, Megan. You have to go to detention. Teachers are released, and those points come right over here. Teachers take a commanding 100-point lead. Hey, stay right where you're at, because when we come back, this awesome group is going to spell check. Don't go anywhere. Today, hey, we're back in session here on The Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School in Mayfair going head-to-head. -head. We have students and teachers going hard right now in the paint. Teachers in the lead, 120 to the students, 20. It's still anybody's game. If you guys have seen the show before, you know students can come flying back here. So let's get right back into it with some spell check. Okay, here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. But if you say a wrong letter or guess incorrectly at any point, you're out. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. But if the clock runs out, each player left standing is going to get 10 points just for making it two minutes of spelling. Teachers, we're going to start with you. Let's do it. Miss Ferris, paper. P A P E R. North. N O R T H. Logic. L O G I C. We're flying. Match. M A T C H. Contract. C O N T R A C T. Exclude. E X C L O. U D E. Sorry, you're out of there, Megan. Grazing. G R A Z I N G. Iguana. Iguana, I-G-U-A-N-A. -A. Landmark. L-A-N-D-M-A-R-K. Horrible. Horrible, H-O-R-R-I-B-L-E. Great answer. Division. D-I-V-I-S-I-O-N. Authority. Authority, A-U-T-H-O-R-I-T-Y. Surrender. Surrender, S-U-R-R-E-N-D-E-R. -E -E On that second page, getting more difficult, emotional. Emotional, E-M-O-T-I-O-N-A-L. Nice. Certificate. C-E-R-T-I-F-I-C-A-T-E. -E. University. University, U-N-I-V-E-R-S-I-T-Y. Destination. D-E-S-T-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. -E Good. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. A-T-M-O-S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. With ease. Well done. Elementary. Elementary. E-L-E-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. Remarkable. Remarkable. R-E-M-A-R-K-A-B-L-E. -E. Connecticut. Capital C. O-N-N. <laughs> I see. Out of there, down to two apiece as we move right over here to Gia with persuasion. Persuasion, P E R S U S A S. Sorry, Gia, you're out of the game, but that is it for the round. We got spellers left. Teachers get 20, students get 10, bringing their scores to 140 for the teachers, 30 for the students, but we're not done yet. Picture Day is next, and hopefully, everyone keeps smiling. After that final exam, because the classroom is still in session when we come back. Is it like this? Is it like you kind of hit him with the oh, oh, that's it. We'll work on the that's our boy band pose. We're working on it, guys.
guys. We're doing the best we can. All right, welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students versus teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School right in Mayfair, and I've made my way out to the audience because I got some business to take care of with you two. I know Megan and Megan are up there. By the way, these are two special guys. They're the brothers of Megan and Megan, right? All right, so I heard while I was standing at my all, I heard someone go, you stink when your sister got out. That was you? All right, so he's come clean right now. What happened? You were just, you just wanted to let your sister know how you felt? <laughs> All right, yeah. So that's that's what brothers do. They support the best they possibly can, and I'm glad you guys are here to do that. It's time for picture day. <laughs> Megan, at least he was honest. He just was like, "Yeah, I'm not supporting her." I mean, but he's allowed to say that. So grab your buzzers, team. We're gonna show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm gonna give you guys three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture is gonna win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team can buzz in and steal those points. So we have three pictures here today. Here is your first one. This person was a seamstress. Clue number two, this person was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1996. Clue number three, she famously refused to give up her seat on the bus. Miss Rosini. Rosa Parks. Is it Rosa Parks? That's exactly who that is. Rosa Parks, teachers bringing you up to 150 as we move right into picture number two. This person has hosted Nickelodeon's Kids' Choice Awards. Gia. Nick Cannon. Is it Nick Cannon? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. Yeah, if you don't know, that's totally okay. That was a quick one, Gia. Good try there. As we move into clue number two, we're going to remove three more boxes here. This wrestler is the voice of Ferdinand the Bull. Miss Barris. John Cena. Is it John Cena? That's who we were looking for. That was a heck of a guest year, though. There's only so many, right? So that was a good one. John Cena was the picture number two. As we move into our final picture day, here's picture number three. This lovable character got his own adventure in 2017. He likes warm hugs. Gia? Olaf. Is it Olaf? The adorable snowman. That's exactly who it is. I love warm hugs, too, and I'm not afraid to say it. Hey, the score stands. Teachers 160 to our students with 40. Both teams have a chance to win because they are cramming for that final exam. Let's do it. The topic of today's final exam is words with E before I. That means every answer is going to have the letters E and I in it. All right, I will ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer team is worth 100 points for your score. You guys do not have to start writing yet. You can do that during commercial. But first, let's hear these questions on the final exam. Question number one, what do Santa, Santa's reindeer pull through the night sky? Question number two, what actress and singer has hit songs titled Love Myself, Starving, and Let Me Go? We're looking for the first and last name there. Finally, question number three, what stimulant used to provide mental alertness can be found in coffee, tea, soda, and other products? Okay, E before I, remember, E before I. We know the questions. Each answer is going to bank them 100 points. These teams have 60 seconds to talk about it and come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, I want you guys all to come back to see which team will ace this final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. But first, you want to be a part of the show? Here's how you can join us. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show.
room today, we have students and teachers from Blessed Trinity Catholic School going head to head to score teachers in the lead 160 points to our students with 40. The topic of today's final exam is words with E before I. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, teams, each question is worth 100 points for your final score. So let's do it. Let's see who aced their final exam, taking that money back to their school. The first question on the student side, we're going to get all three years right now. What do Santa's reindeer pull through the night sky? Slay. Slay is right for 100 points. Let's do it. Question number two. Here we go. What actress and singer has hit songs titled Love Myself, Starving, and Let Me Go? You said? Haley Steinfeld. Which is another 100 points, bringing you guys up to 240 and the lead. Finally, what stimulant used to improve mental alertness can be found in coffee, tea, soda, and other products? You need this to buffer your lead? Caffeine. E before I. That's absolutely right. Bringing you guys up to 340. And teachers, we're going to see how you guys do here. What do Santa's reindeer pull through the night sky? You said? Slay. Of course it is. He delivers the presents. Here we go. What actress on that second one did you say? Haley Steinfeld for the win. We did. They won it, ladies and gentlemen. Here are your big winners today on the show. 500s going back with these guys. They did get caffeine as well. Hey, and look who's bringing the check. It's the bad boys of the school. 500, hey, thanks for being here today. I want to thank you guys for being here, joining us today. Join us again next time. We have new teachers, new students, and more money and bragging rights on the line. We'll see you next time.